Hello everyone out there in YouTube world. Well, this video is uh, kind of a personal one to me, especially about the subject of the matter. Excuse me. Right. And this is about the truth always comes out. It does. And this is what I'm going to be talking about because of recent events. Um, the truth came out about a couple of people who are basically what they tried to do obviously is tell lies hide behind the truth just because of their status of where they are or where they were in life um, they're both quite well-known people as well who, they, who these people are um, <clears throat> And what they did was personal to me because it happened to me when I was younger, you know, when I was a child, which I posted on here about what happened to me in my childhood. And then someone brandished me as a liar. That person, whoever he or she was, they had no right in saying that because they were never around when I was a child growing up and knowing what I'd gone through as a child. So how dare that person call me a liar? And I would not lie about that subject at all, period. And why I spoke up about it recently, it's because I had enough of burying it. I said, why should I have let that person, even though that person's no longer here on this earth, but why should I let that person get away with what that person had done to me, personally? You know, as a kid. Well, these same two people had done that to another innocent victim over the years. And then the truth got out. And yet these, these, this couple tried to deny it. You know, it's, it's horrible. And these, I wouldn't say a husband I knew personally. I didn't, I wouldn't say I know her personally but I knew her through what I do as a passion and the truth came out how dare they think they can get away with the truth you know the truth is there they, you could, don't care who you are in this world you know you could be the most wealthiest person in the world in the world and you've done something bad to someone from a previous, uh, <clears throat> pre from previous years, before you become this well-known person, this personality, and just because of the personality status that this couple had got at the time, they thought they could get away with anything. You know, never think you can get away with things like that. Because they will always catch up with you in the end and don't care who you are. But yes, getting back to this person calling me a liar on this video I posted, I did about what happened to me as a child. Why would I have to lie about something and what would I have to gain from this? Well, I'm, li I'm not lying because, <laughs> period, Mom, because my family knows. Why should I lie about something about that? So that person who called me a liar. Hmm. When you say these things in life, hmm, they come back unto you too far. And I don't care who you are. You know, you call me a liar. <clears throat> hmm. You know, that's wrong of you to do that. Because say if someone told me something, right? And... What have I got to gain by calling them a liar? But I would never call anyone a liar. You know, unless I know that person is telling a lie and I know the truth. But I still wouldn't brandish them a liar. So no one's got the, any right to call me a liar. No one has because what I'm saying about things is the truth of the matter. Why would I have to lie about things or make up things? It's like my, my own personal martial arts journey, you know. Finally, I'm getting global recognition, which is a dream come true to me. And I never really put myself out there to become recognised globally. 
I never did. That was never in my intentions. I just do what I enjoy doing. And obviously people have been watching me and people who were recognised themselves in the martial arts world and, and looked at me and, did. and one person who I always remember last weekend at the UK Martial Arts Show, his name's Han Wong, very famous in the martial arts world. He's a Korean based martial arts master. Um, <clears throat> You know, um, just a phenomenon. And when he seen me on stage doing my freestyling of Tai Chi, my own interpretation, you know what he said to me when I come up? He said, your martial arts that you do, Andrew, is true. People say to him, oh, is this guy for real? And Han Wang says to these other people, they say to him, is he for, am I for real? And he'll say to them about me, and they said, no, you just watch him, and then you will know yourself that he is real or not. And then when the people watch me, they think they, their reactions is classic. They say, wow, you know, they really go, wow, gosh, this, you feel, we feel what you are doing. And then Han Wong says to them, see, I told you, this guy is not a, a gimmick maker or a trickster or a charlatan is real as real can be i'm just being me at the end of the day expressing myself and if people think i'm fake or false then that's up to them i'm not convincing them otherwise if they think that way then let them get on with it doesn't affect me at all and it won't ever but getting back to people calling me a liar about me coming about coming out about what happened to me as a kid you know I buried that subconsciously for over 40 odd years. Even with the, the marriages, those two marriages I had, I never really spoke to them about it. I didn't mention about it to my second ex, my second ex-wife, but whether she believe me or not, I don't care, it doesn't bother me. But I'm not lying about it. Why would I, again, why would I lie about this? But anyway, like I said before, you know, from this couple and what they've done, they thought they could hide behind the fame name. They literally thought they could hide behind it. And I think some of you know who I am talking about. You know, the both of them are involved within the martial arts world, as I am. But yeah, never think you can hide behind anything in life, never. Excuse me. But yeah. You know, with the relationships I've had, I've had to please them and not even think about myself or what I truly want. But now that I'm doing this, I can imagine how would they respond if they knew I was truly, truly, properly like this. They would probably think, oh, he's, uh, he's not right in the head. Hang on, I am very well right in the head. I've got all my faculties, you know. This is me. This is me. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, me. And I feel happy wearing what I'm wearing. I love wearing my Mandarin outfit, you know. Sometimes I wish I could travel back in time, you know, and live in China, old China, and learn the language and be with that culture. I feel more at home back then than I would feel more at home in the modern day world. Because this is who I truly am, you know. Um, but yeah, getting back to the main thing of people trying to hide behind the fame name. Just because they're famous, they think they can't be touched. And there are people out there who are like that. When you look at the big name people, as we all know, who have been involved with hiding behind the fame, so they can forget. You know, they think they can forget about what they've done in the past. Or well, maybe I'm still doing things behind closed curtains and doors. Of course, they're using their fame name as a so-called wall so no one can get through to find out the truth. Never hide from the truth. I don't care who you are. I, my truth is, I think, you know what my truth is? This is my truth of life. Is me being who I am. It's been five years since I haven't had anyone in my life. Never. It's been five years, yeah. It's because I've been focusing on me now instead of going out there to try and find someone to be a part of my life. And being honest, I'm being honest. Some of you may respond to this, but I'm being honest. I don't want no one in my life anymore. 
because I personally think whoever she may be may not like what I'm all about. That's how I see things at the moment. There may be someone out there who might love what I do, but I haven't found her yet, have I? So that's why, I'm, that's why I haven't bothered anymore, you know, to have someone in my life who's been focusing on me. And I'll still keep focusing on me, you know, and I will. I will still keep focusing on me. I will never stop. Maybe, you never know. Maybe meet someone and she might love what I do because I'm focusing on me. Who knows? But anyway. Yeah, getting back to the matter, the truth, the truth of the matter of this video is for those wealthy and powerful people out there, I know some of you do watch my videos, don't think you can hide away from the truth of life. Because no one can. I can't. These people living in this hostel where I'm living, they can't hide from the truth. No one can. I may get a response to this, but I'm telling you now, even with those people who have done wrong across other people who have passed away, this truth still catches up with them, whether they're here or not on this earth. So what, I'm, I'm not perfect, but who is perfect? And I've always said, there's no perfect person on this planet. No one is perfect. And what I mean by being perfect is someone just being the ultimate perfection of life. That doesn't exist. And will it ever exist? I don't know, but not in this not in this lifetime. But anyway, yeah. So there you go. Don't care who you are. You know what you've got, and who you've got looking after you, protecting you. No one can hide from the truth of life. No one can. You know. But um, anyway, again. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you already have, thank you so much from the bottom of my big, big beating heart. You know, and let's just try and be truthful to one another in life. You know, it's, and that's the hardest thing for any human being to do is be truthful, to be honest and open. Now, I'm being as honest and open and truthful as I can be. I've got nothing to hide. What have I got to hide? I mean, so what if, you know, I love women. I do, and I still do to this day. And sometimes I do have dreams about being with someone. I do, but I'm still going to be sticking to what I love. Do it. Me being me. I'll stand by for as long as it takes, if I have to. If it means I have to spend the rest of my life on my own, then let it be so. Let it be so. But anyway, again, now I remind you, please subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, my videos. If you want to share them, share them, feel free. You know, that weekend I had at Doncast, to me, was a massive... To me, it's the biggest weekend of the year I've had so far. Excuse me, I really have. And for those people who just watch my videos, don't feel that you're afraid to make a comment. Don't, just if you want, excuse me, if you want to make an, any kind, you know, a comment at all, just comment, you know, don't be afraid. I comment on other people's videos or posts, I do. If I know I'm commenting, that has got a productive meaning behind it. You know, that's that's what I'm like. Because I'll look at whatever the subject is and then I think, mm, okay, shall I comment on that? Mm, no, I may give that a miss. You know, sometimes when you comment on things, you do have to be careful in what you input. But anyway, again, thank you again. Thank you again. I know this video is a bit longer than normal, but thank you again. And please stay safe out there as best as you can.